Ever since AI started being a thing, I was pretty hesitant about it, to be honest. Artificial intelligence, can it actually be better than us? More accurate, more efficient, more creative? Pfft. Questions I thought about all the time, can't say I wasn't intrigued, so dying to know, I started using it. I set off on a mission to try the best AI tools, mainly integrations from apps I was currently using, some new of course, and see if I could integrate them into my workflow. The results, shocking. Now, do I think AI can do all the work for you? I don't. Why? Because what makes good work, at least artistic work, is the human factor, the imperfections, things that can't be automated as of today. But I do think AI is incredibly useful. You can use it as a personal assistant to do many things. So in this video, I'll dive deep into AI tools I use to supercharge my workflow, be more productive, creative, and overall, how these tools make my life easier. This video is brought to you by AppSumo. All right, so let's get into it. The first AI tool I tried was Notion AI. You may be wondering why not ChatGPT? Well, Notion AI and ChatGPT are pretty similar, and since I was already using Notion, I bought Notion AI. With it, you can generate text, edit for better delivery, translate languages, answer questions in an informative way. It'll help you organize your work, automate tasks, generate ideas, brainstorming, mind mapping, content outline, creative writing, and the list goes on. Mind blowing, right? It is better than a personal assistant. I've been using it for seven months now, but not so much recently. It's not that I think Notion AI isn't good enough. I think it is one of the best AI tools out there, but for the type of work I do, I found a better alternative. Before AI was the thing, I used to write everything on pages, normal documents, then copy paste to Grammarly, refine my writing, then copy paste again to whatever the final medium. For those of you who don't know, Grammarly is a typing assistant that checks for spelling, grammar, punctuation, engagement, delivery, it is very handy. I've been using it since 2016, the reason I started using it is because back at the time I was writing my thesis and this app checks for plagiarism so I was like, I need that. The app has been evolving, it has an AI integration now, Grammarly Go, that does pretty much everything the Notion AI does but it's catered for writing. And I don't know why, I just feel Feel more confident writing with Grammarly. Also, you can use it anywhere. All your apps, websites, email, wherever there is text. And that's a clear win. I still use Notion every day to organize my life, but I started moving my creative workflow to Milanote because it is a much more robust app to execute my creative ideas in detail and paired with Grammarly Go, I am unstoppable. Jokes aside, I'm not gonna talk much about Milanotes and Grammarly Go because I am currently working on a video about my creative workflow where I'll dive deep into this program. So if that's something you'd like to see, subscribe and give this video a like, dude, come on. Next, NeuronWriter. If you are writing any type of content for the internet, NeuronWriter will be a really good friend to you. See, web copywriting is different from offline writing because of SEO. Your copy needs to be insanely good to be engaging, of course, but it also also needs to be SEO friendly for people to find it online. If you're writing content for YouTube, for instance, the keywords you use in your title, the description, and the things you say in the videos matter a lot because that's how you give the algorithm the data to promote it to the right audience. So for this video, for instance, I like to rank create content for best AI tools. And then you have a lot of data to write your title, description, text, and any type of copy. How I secretly use AI tools to boost productivity and creativity. Damn, I type super slow. That's why I never do this. I'm sorry. And this will ensure the content is SEO friendly and ranks well on the internet. The content has to be good, of course, to keep people watching. Is the content any good, by the way? Please let me know if it sucks. Anyway, with these keywords, people can find me online. So a tool like NeuroWriter will help to not only find those keywords, but also brainstorm ideas based on those SEO friendly keywords. It'll tell you what's working on the internet, content that ranks well in Google. It'll help with article structure, content outline, and you can use the help of an AI writer to write as well, all based on search engine optimization. It is a powerful tool for content writing, and I'm sure if you write any kind of copy for the internet, it'll be incredibly useful. Next, Content Groove. In the world of content, short form video is massive. People tell me all the time, if you want to grow fast, you have to make shorts every single day, dude. 
but it is a lot of work. Even a 15 second video is a lot of work if you want to make a good 15 second video, of course. So I've been playing around with this AI power tool, Content Groove. It's a platform that generates engaging highlights and clips from long form videos for your social media. Say you are someone with a podcast and you have a one hour video interview, or you make 10 minute videos for YouTube and you need content for TikTok or IG. With Content Groove, you only need a YouTube link and the app does its magic. It selects the best video sections for shorts. You can edit the trim section, crop, add captions and download or upload directly from the platform. As a video editor, this tool can save me hours making shorts from YouTube videos without breaking a sweat. And that, my friend, means more revenue. If you work at a marketing agency or you are a content creator or you work for a content creator as a video editor or community manager, this tool will come in handy. Now, if you are an advanced video or photo editor, Adobe has been integrating a lot of AI tools to their editing softwares. I use Premiere Pro the most for long-form video editing, Lightroom and Photoshop for photos, and some of these AI integrations in these apps have saved me hundreds of hours. So there is this AI powered text-based editing panel on Premiere where you can transcript your footage and edit off of text, which is incredible because you don't have to go through all your footage anymore. You can even type a word and the transcript will show you where those words are. It'll show you silences and you can get rid of them like this. Making a rough cut has never been this easy, even for non-video editors. I'm cutting my sequences this way now and honestly, it saved me a lot of time. On Lightroom, the subject selection is crazy. You can now change anything from a photograph with a few clicks and is super accurate. Say you want to give this guy alien eyes. Select people, then select what part of the subject you want to mask, create mask, and do whatever you want. Insane, right? In the past, and I'm talking like four months ago, you had to do everything manually. So yeah, these tools are crazy. I don't use Photoshop that much, but I've seen significant improvement in masking selection. Gone are the days when you had to do everything manually. All right, and that's it. These are the AI tools I use to work faster and better. You can find some of the apps I mentioned today on AppSumo.com. AppSumo is a great place to find insane deals on software tools for your business or yourself. Full disclosure, this video is sponsored by AppSumo. I'll leave a link down in the video description with all the information in case you're interested checking the deals. Thank you AppSumo for sponsoring this video and thank you my friend for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.